Good, good morning, everyone. Today is October 25th, and seeing we have a quorum of the Elementary School Building Committee, I'm going to call the meeting to order. And the first thing I need to do is make sure uh, the people that I see on the screen can hear and be heard, the members. Um, Jonathan. Help if I unmuted. Good morning. I can hear and be heard, presumably. Bruce. I am here. Thank you. Deb. I think you need to speak up, Deb, so we can hear. Good morning. Good morning. Gotcha. Melissa. Good morning. Alicia. Here. Simone. Here. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Um, and as you know, we postponed last week's meeting to today because we thought we would have more of an update than we do, but we still have an update. So I'm going to turn the agenda over to Margaret and I believe Bob will, Bob Parent will also join her in the discussion. Margaret. Good morning, everybody. All right, I'm gonna briefly share our brief agenda. Everybody can see that. So we're gonna, <clears throat> unfortunately, I cannot give a schedule update. Um, uh, but Bob Parent is going to give uh, really a bid update, and then we have invoices. So that is the extent of the agenda today. Does anybody have any questions about that before we get launched? No questions. Okay. Well, I'm going to turn it over to Bob. Um, Great. Because you, the Bob. main event is to give an update on what's going on with the bidding. Sure. The update I'm going to provide is essentially the same one that Paul provided to the town council a couple of days ago. Um, and it's a statement that I'm going to read for consistency purposes right now. And it's really all we can say at the moment. Uh, so as previously reported, the town received three bids for the project. All were below the budgeted amount. CTA construction managers of Waltham submitted the lowest bid of $73.48 million. The other bidders were J&J &J Contractors of North Billerica at $75 million and Fontaine Brothers of Springfield at $75 million. All three firms are experienced and the town's architect has worked with all three successfully. The three bids were clustered tightly, ranging from $73.5 million to $75.6 million. Execution of a contract with a low bidder CTA construction managers has been put on hold pending resolution of bid protests filed by two construction industry organizations and one of the other bidders, which assert CTA construction managers is not eligible to be awarded the contract for the project. Bid protests are common on large complex public projects and can often be resolved with the involvement of the Attorney General's office. The Attorney General's Office will conduct a hearing next week to review the bid protests and issue an opinion as to whether CTA construction managers is eligible to be awarded the contract for the construction of the new school. So that's where we stand right at the moment. Um, before we, we turn it over for questions or comments, I just want, I see that Tammy has joined us. And Tammy, could you just let us know whether you can hear us and we can hear you? Looks like not quite yet. Okay, so Tammy, at the point you're fully connected, just give a shout out. Thank you. So I'm I'm turning it over to any questions. And Bob, I believe the hearing is, did you already give the date of the hearing, the hearing next week? I believe it is the 29th of next week. And the, the the town had originally been told it would be this week, and then it got postponed a week. So that's one of the reasons we moved the last week's meeting to today, was we thought we would have an update after the hearing, and we don't. So any questions, um, since this is the main thing on the agenda aside from invoices? Well, I have I have one. Um, well, I see Bruce. 
Go ahead, Bruce. Oh, I guess I was just wondering whether it's politic to ask uh, for any of uh, our consultant team to speculate on the uh, outcome and the effect on uh, the schedule, if the outcome would be to delay this yet further. Uh, we the can't. answer, of course, may be that you can't say anything, but I thought I should at least ask the question. Yeah, we can't. So um, will we be, is this a hearing that um, one can log on and watch when it's happening? That is correct. It is a public hearing um, viewable by anyone. Okay. Is that so, live, do you know, Bob, or are they, they just record them and it is them. conducted live, yes. Okay. So, so maybe after the meeting, Margaret, if you can send us all a link to send anyone else wants to watch it, um, I I will try to log in. Deb? Do we know how quickly the determination will be made after the meeting is held? Is it right away? Is it any time? Yeah. Uh, I see Tammy's, Tammy's joined us with screen. Tammy, if you... If you unmute, just so we know you're here. Oh, she's she's having a chat. Oh, you know somebody else. That's all right. We we can see that she's here. So I I think I think that the extent of the update is um it also it it appeared in the Gazette. So and as Bob said, Paul announced this to the council on Monday night. So I'm going to turn it over to Ksenia for invoices. Um, okay, yeah. thank you. So the um, sharing is not turned on. Oh, sorry. Okay, multiple. Let's turn it on, Ksenia, try again. Okay. Maximize this. Okay, so uh, it's not a particularly exciting update as you can imagine, over last time, um, our usual road ahead was starting to look shorter, you know, with the yellow bar for a potential award now taking up uh, most of the space with still a good chunk of contingency or unawarded um, packages left up ahead, which primarily is contingency and furniture fixtures, equipment technology for the school um, would be in that pocket. Um, the invoice package this month um, is this um, infinitesimal little black bar, which really looks like a line on the scale of the overall project. It's a 75,724 um, total um, invoice package representing services um, provided by Answer Advisory and Danisco in the month of September. Um, we, in terms of the cash flow, um, you could see that if you look at the green actual bars from the past, the yellow marking today, um, the month of September, um, you could see that we were starting to um, be very active in the summer when the early site package was happening. That work was finished in June and things have died down to a pretty minor level while we wait for this next phase to take off, which would be substantial. Um, the one thing different on this chart um, from last time, uh, in consultation internally and with the town, we have made the decision to represent the contingency as a, a single bar, contingency spending as a single bar toward the end, because it it's not that that's where it's going to be spent, but with it distributed throughout the months um, of the you know heavy construction work period, it was um, somewhat clouding the picture. Um, so that is just a graphical. Um, method. The invoice package transmittal is here. Um, all the invoices have been pre-reviewed um, and negotiated or revised where necessary by answer advisory. 
um, and we recommend them uh, for approval and payment. Um, we've got Answer Advisory at the OPM at $24,000, which is rounded up 1% um, advancement with 70% of a contract still ahead because most of the value of the work is in overseeing the construction process. Um, the NISCO Architects uh, invoice, it was for $49,450, also rounded up to be a percent um, with 30, 29% of a contract ahead because most of the NISCO's work was in completing the design, but there's still a substantial involvement remaining during construction. Um, and these two invoices toward the bottom are already paid, which is why they're not showing up in the current due, but this is the first time they're being presented. They're very small, um, a little over a thousand each. And what they are is um, their payments to Berkshire Design, which was design group, which was, which is, they were retained to do some surveying um, and uh, plan work uh, to produce an easement plan for the electrical utility. Um, who will need an easement in order to bring the main electrical connection from the street up to the building in a new spot. Um, so that work is just about complete, but they have a little bit of contract value left hanging out there, which may or may not be billed. Um, I'll scroll through the invoices. This is the answer one with backup information. And our consultant architects, um, subconsultants invoice for completing the peer review, sustainable peer review. Here's the NISCO's invoice for the bidding process, for overseeing the bidding process. Um, and the Berkshire, one Berkshire Design Group invoice. And the second one. And that is all. Thank you. Um, are there any questions on the invoices? Thank you very much. Um, th I think this tracking system is excellent. Um, I move to approve the invoices. Second. Jonathan seconds, and I'll put it to a roll call vote. Kathy is a yes. Jonathan? Yes. Bruce? Yes. Tammy? Yes. She's here. Rupert is here too. Yes. Deb. Yes. Melissa. Yes. Alicia. Yes. Simone. Yes. So I want to just double check whether there are any other questions or comments from the committee. We have one person in the audience, one attendee. And I will turn it over to, I'll open it for public comments um, if I don't see any hands from the committee. Okay, we are open for public comments. Maria, you should have, you should see that you can unmute. I brought you in. Yeah, I think I did. Are we good? Yes. Okay. Hi. Thank you so much. <clears throat> um, don't really have a question so much about um, the what was on the agenda. Um, uh, you know, we're all waiting with you guys and and sympathetic to to, to the tension there. Um, I wanted to bring up the uh, traffic uh, work that is being contemplated right in front of the for in front of the school um uh it, it would be great if that maybe could get on one of your agendas what i wanted to so so for those who don't know um what was proposed was a series of four roundabouts between route nine and main street on southeast street so right in front of the school this had been discussed uh at a tso meeting one of the committees of the town council and um I would just like to make sure that uh, the representatives from the school, the school staff, the school leadership, 
principals, people who are out there directing traffic now, the superintendent. I, I, I want to make sure that the school folks are involved in that um, uh, development of whatever project comes through. Um, and also to remind everybody, town and school, that the traffic issues that exist there are not solely the result of, ha of having a school there. there. There's a lot of other factors. Um, so uh, the one other thing, um, again, for possibly a future agenda item, um, with the bids, and I know that the bids are not settled, but once the bids can, are, are finalized, if the um, uh, the projections are still that they would be under under the budget. Uh, could somebody at some point show what the impact would be on uh, on residents in terms of uh, the debt exclusion override? I uh, asked for this to be a property tax increase. Could you um, show what it would look like to be at this lower number? I realize that contingencies are there for a reason, and that's a good thing. But if uh, it does come to pass that this project is a lot lower than what was budgeted for, what would that look like? So just a couple of requests for, for future, future things. Thank you so much. Thank you, Maria. Any other questions? We're, we're, our next meeting is um, November 15th. Friday, November 15th, and hopefully we will get, I'm always an optimist on this, we'll have news that we're moving ahead. Um, and it and, and maybe if the weather stays the way it is, the ground will stay nice and diggable and we can actually really move ahead. Um, so I, I don't know what else um, to, let alert you to, we will provide updates as soon as we have them both to the building committee and I'm assuming to the council, to the town, um, since we're all sitting on the waiting curve. So Margaret, our, our, our Danisco team who have all joined us today, I'm sure you're you know, like sitting there going, uh oh, uh, we were we were supposed to have started by now. But any other closing comments before I ask to adjourn the meeting? I'm not seeing any hands. Um, we've made it a practice. We started to make it a practice, and I forgot to do it last time. Is I make I'm making a motion to adjourn, and then I'm going to put it to a vote. Um, looks like Jonathan's hands up. You're going to second my motion. I was, yes. Sorry, a little. little Thank you. I, I, if, I'm gonna, if I'm going to do it, I should do it right, right. <laughs> so, Jonathan, as I'll put it to a vote. Okay. Yes. Kathy is a yes. Uh, Bruce. Yep. Tammy. Yes. Deb. Yes. Rupert. <clears throat> yes. Melissa. Yes. Alicia. Yes. Simone. Yes. It's unanimous. And we are adjourned um, with a remarkably short meeting at 8.53. Thank you, everyone, for joining us.